And so today's uh, National Trust uh, travel blog is Great Charfield House in Wiltshire uh, near to Brooklyn Gifford and Holt and um, my guideline says it's open um, two, 2 till 5 basically on a, on a Sunday um, but already I mean it's just sort of not far after 2 o'clock the road that we're uh, coming on and they're parking on the side of the road basically I've had to come a long long way from the house to be able to park anywhere where I can unload the scooter so I'm just going to drive off down the road now to see how far it is but as you'll see on the video parking here is, is very uh, very limited and you have to park wherever you can uh, I'm not sure if there's any disabled parking nearer I'll have to find out that when I get there, but at the moment I'm actually probably a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from the house. Uh, of course, bearing in mind I'm, I'm scootering, so going four, four miles an hour maximum speed. Well, anyway, this um, is in my book here. Uh, we'll have a look at that later on. Uh, for now, let's get a head on, get a steam on, or whatever you want to call it. Let's get a move on and uh, go and see what we can see. So we're on a little uh, side road, B, um, un unclassified or B road. Um, basically from where I am now. I'll be aware of traffic coming up behind me. And traffic coming the other way. <laughs> So the house and gardens is on our left. Um, looks very nice, I have to say. We'll see. So parking is all the way along here. It wasn't too bad uh, as far as parking. May Park outside. Manor is open from 2 pm. Guided tour only. No dogs except guide dogs. And it's um, uh, Manor and Garden, an adult £9 garden, 560. Obviously, National Trust is free. So open from March to October so it's a good job I got my card There's three very flat steps going to the main door. Right. If you can't manage that, we can get you around the back. Okay, that's fine. I'll go around the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I have to book a time? Yeah, three o'clock that'll be. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right. Right. 
touch. Do you need a push? Yes. Mm. Go. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, no video in the house, but uh, everywhere else. So the guided tour, 3 p.m. and you get a ticket, which uh, you have to give in. No, 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 I'm just looking at the moment. So the uh, parish church. Um, very, very steep ramp there. I don't know if I would make that. Uh, not with the gravel. So the... Uh, it was on about the, it was on about the steps. Um, so there's uh, one, two, three, three steps there. Next guided tour is three o'clock. So here we go. We got to try and get up, up this one. Oh my God! These paving slabs. I really hate these. Hello. Oh, it's How are you? Andy, How are you? Them. My goodness. All right. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know who I am, do you? Yes. All right. <laughs> right after a ten-minute um, <laughs> detour and uh, two mic, uh, basically we'll carry on. Now I don't know. So some old students old students that I've just met in the middle of a middle of a garden. It's pretty nice. Ah. So this is the um garden. It's much bigger than this actually. So again we've got the problem of the um the grass there's no uh, easy way to go and they can uh, know what that is the ramp down there or the steps probably steps there have to find a way down but it's a whole lower area there I should have worn a hat. I was just talking to um, the two ladies, uh, telling them about my life since they've uh, since they disappeared. So there's more steps there. And view of the um, the manor house and the church. Yes, it's very nice uh, here. It's very warm, and as I say, some. As we can't go down the steps in the uh, scooter. There's more steps over there, and um, somewhere there will be a a way down because there is a path that goes around the corner. Not sure how you get there. Uh, I'm not going to go down that way because that's like a, there's a broken paving side but I'll end up falling over.
very very uneven paving slabs oh and we're not going to go down there because there's steps in fact I think we're snookered in all directions um, so we're going to have to find another way round I can't see how to get round to the lower part of the garden there because uh, is there a way, way round? Oh it's over there is it? The only difficult place is, is right the other side of the moat. Right. Well, I mean the lower part of the garden, yeah, yes. yeah. Through there sir. There, oh. I know there, there, there's one very steep one but I wouldn't tap that. No. It's a link but yeah. uh, that's the best way through there. Okay lovely, right. thanks. thanks very much. So, yeah, so I'll um, pop down there first, Sorry, have a look, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, just um, down, so there is a um, toilet here, tea and coffee. I'm following you. I'm following you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, lovely. As long as you don't film us. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't want to be filmed being helpful. No, oh dear, <laughs> terrible. It's not helpful. Ah, horses. Hello. Can't get up there anyway because it's uh, a, bit, uh, a bit of a curb. And the toilet. Just there. Go on the centre, sir. Yeah, that's fine, thanks. That's um yeah. No, it's alright, I'm just looking, I was just looking. And even stuck again. That's twice, twice stuck. 
My sucker nut, not a word. Oh God, this is the worst one ever, I think. For accessibility, it's, uh, it's a killer. Have a little garden. Try and find a non bumpy bit. My house. Very nice. It would be slightly easier with a uh, with a wheelchair. Won't be so um, bumpy. I'll try the grass bit because it's easier. Obviously, it, uh, going on the grass, it will um, run down the battery a little bit quicker. As in. Right now we are out of power. Uh, we have a slight problem, mission control. Not the uh, battery never charged up overnight. I shall, um, I shall need to give you that back because I have to. Uh, I've got a battery problem. Oh dear. I have to go back to the. Yeah, no, I have to come back another time. Because um, imagine this battery is quite heavy on it. Yeah, it, it's um, I've got a spare one, but it's um, this one's decided to um, pack up, especially on the grass. Yeah, you're not you're giving enough push now. No, 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 and I'm getting a bit stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you anyway. Okay, All right, I'll come back another time. Yep. Okay. So you can see the uh, parking all the way down that road there. Hopefully I'll make it back to the car before we conk out. We're definitely going to struggle. It's uh, going to be touch and go whether we get back to the car or not. But that's okay because uh, we couldn't actually film in the house anyway so it's not much loss 
and uh, apart from going down to the lower paddock area and a pond, um, we did manage to see all of it. Just unfortunately, battery decided to pack up. So I think we might, if we're lucky, we might just make it to just be on that car on the right and we're plot on the left. Chelfield Banner, yeah, it's a very nice place. Um, dubious accessibility for scooters. Um, lots of uh, uneven ground, which it does, it does actually say that in the manual, so that's fine. Yeah. And beautiful countryside. So, and the battery is on its last legs. Ah, so Shelford Manor. Um, overall, yes, accessibility says in the book it's uneven ground, which is fair enough, and there is uneven ground and lots of grass. So make sure that your um, your battery is fully charged uh, if you're using a scooter. It's a lot easier if you have wheelchair. Um, just gonna have a little look in the book in the manual and just uh, tell you what it says there. Shelfield. That is if I can find it. You can never find it when you want it. That's because it comes under G for a great. Yeah, great child feel. <laughs> so the uh, we're gonna have a look at look in the, in the, the manual uh, as it were uh, for great Chelfield Manor and Garden. Um, apparently, I didn't see it, but uh, because I didn't look up the um, there's a monkey, a soldier, and griffins adorn the rooftops of this moated medieval manor. Looking over the terraces of the romantic garden with topiary houses, rose garden, and spring fed fish pond, which we didn't see because we didn't go down that far. And it's lovingly looked after by the Floyd family. The manor recently featured in the BBC drama Wolf Hall, and the family don donor t uh, tenants look after it for the National Trust. There is a uh, cafe, a uh, little cafe, tea, tea and coffee and uh, some snacks. There's a stable yard which we are recommending not to um, touch the horses because they bite. <laughs> and um, there's a tour, tour guide. Tour, uh, there is a guided tour of the house which I was going to do at three o'clock but uh, you can't film anyway. So <laughs> it would have been an exercise in just going around the house. Uh, apparently you can go around um, because the uh, house um, has uh, ramps and things um, but it, only, it does have uneven, um, let's say here, the manor house has uneven access and um, ramps but the, it doesn't say in the garden, it doesn't say uneven access which is surprising because it was. And parking, I did see that there was a couple of spaces in the actual courtyard. I don't know if you can do it, um, park in the, in the courtyard if you're disabled. I'm sure the, um, they can tell you if, if you contact the um, head office and they can tell you whether you can do that or not. So that's it for my travel blog. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, then please like and also share. So if you should do that for me. And if you can, then subscribe my channel when you receive uh, messages about 
updates to new new uh, videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again soon for another travel vlog.